difficult. Um, e major has four sharps. So remember your order of sharps in your circle of fifths is always the same. Our first sharp is F, the second sharp is C, the third sharp is G, and the leading tone of our scale is the new sharp, D sharp. So one, two, three, four. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Write it down, maybe like stare a million times in a notebook, fill it out, fill it out, fill out another notebook, whatever helps you to remember four sharps, E major, F, C, G. When you feel like you got it burned into your brain, you're ready to move on to the first exercise, tonic triads and inversions. Let's take a look at our scale to see how we build our tonic triad. First note, E. So, first note of our tonic triad. The next note is a G sharp, don't forget your key signature, and the next note is a B. E, G sharp, and B. Pretty much all of our exercises use this tonic triad, so make sure you got it locked in. And when you think you do, you're ready to move on to trying to play it. All right, let's start with the right hand in that E major closed position. So one, three, five over E, G sharp, and B. Now we're gonna move into our first inversion. The E goes to the top of the chord, so we have a pinky on E, second finger on B, and we have our thumb over G sharp. Make sure that your hand has good depth to reach this chord. Then we're gonna move to second inversion chord. So the G sharp that's on the bottom is gonna flip up to the top. And now we have a B with our thumb. A third finger is over E and our pinky is on the G sharp at the top. Now we're gonna flip the chord one more time and we're back at root position. So we have one, three, five over E, G sharp and B. Same thing on the way down. So watch the B go to the bottom. We have thumb on B, third finger on E, pinky on G sharp. We're gonna flip the chord again so the G sharp goes to the bottom. We have the G sharp, first finger, second finger on B, pinky on E, and we're gonna move down one more time. E, G sharp, B, one, three, five. Now for the left hand. So, E major triad, closed position. E, G sharp, and B, five, three, one. All right? Now, we're gonna move to our first inversion. So we flip the E on top, thumb is on E, third finger is on B, and pinky is over G sharp. We're gonna press it down. Now, the G sharp is gonna flip on top. So we have thumb on G sharp, second finger on E, and pinky over B. We're gonna flip it one more time and we're back at root position. We have an E, G sharp, and B, five, three, one. Now, we're gonna go back down. So, the B that's on the top is now on the bottom. So we have a B with a pinky, second finger on E, thumb on G sharp. We're gonna flip that chord one more time, watch the G sharp move to the bottom. So we have G sharp with a pinky, third finger on B, and a thumb is on E. And flip it back right where we started. E, G sharp, and B. Five, three, one. All right, hands together, triads and inversions. Take your time, just like with all hands together activities, make sure your movement is on point, make sure your fingers are curled, your wrists are nice and high, and it just feels comfortable. If that's you, you're ready to move on to hands together. Now we are going to make our primary chord progression. So those three chords are one, the tonic, the four, the subdominant, and the five, the dominant. So let's take a look at our E major scale. The first note, tonic, E. We've done this chord already, E, G sharp, and B. 
let's take a look at the fourth note of the scale. So we count up, ba, 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 ba. that is an A. So we have an A, a C sharp, and an E. This is our four chord, the subdominant. Now if we take one step up from A, we are at B. So remember your key signature here because we have a B, we have the D sharp, we have an F sharp, and we have an A, the skip above. B, D sharp, F sharp, and A. This is B7 chord, or the dominant of the key of E. Make sure that you have a good understanding of these three chords, and then you're ready to move on to playing the progression. All right, so our right hand starts in that E major closed position. One, three, and five, E, G sharp, and B. Now, we're gonna keep that thumb anchored over E, third finger slides up to A, and that pinky goes to C sharp. This is our four chord, we're gonna press it down, and we're gonna move back right to our E major triad, E, G sharp, and B. Now, the thumb is going to open. Your thumb is gonna be playing the D sharp, and your fourth finger's already over A, and your fifth finger's already over B. Just make sure you get good depth on the shape, press down these three keys. Now, we're gonna move back to our tonic triad, E, G sharp, and B, one, three, and five. Alright, now let's do the left hand. So, same starting position, except the fingerings reversed. 5, 3, 1, E, G sharp, and B. Alright, the only thing that's going to move here is our thumb. We're going to open our thumb to C sharp. Our second finger is already over A, and our pinky is already over E. We're going to hold down these three notes for our four chord, and now we're going to move back to our tonic triad, E, G sharp, and B. Now, we're going to open just the pinky to the D sharp, your second finger is already over A, and your thumb is already over B. Press down these three. This is our 5-7, the dominant of E. And now we are going to move back to our tonic triad. E, G sharp, and B. 5, 3, and 1. So, before you put these hands together, make sure that your hands are moving together. It's not one chord and then the other chord, but they move together. There's no hovering, right? You're not like kind of adjusting after you've moved your hand. Everything is nice and relaxed. If you feel like that's you, let's try hands together, primary chord progression. All right, last scale concept. Tonic triad, arpeggio. So, you should already know these three notes. E, G sharp, and B. But just to recap, let's take a look at the scale and spell out the chord, E, G sharp, and B. But since it's an arpeggio, we're gonna space it out. So first, we're gonna start with our right hand in that open hand position. So that right hand, open hand position. One, two, and three over E, G sharp, and B. Don't press it down yet, keep the hand nice and open. We got the shape, good. Now, one key at a time. So we're gonna press down the E. We're gonna press down the G sharp. Now, as we press down the B, we're gonna be tucking our thumb under and it's gonna land on the E. The hand opens up again into the next three notes. Not one at a time, the next three notes at once, but we're gonna play them one at a time. So we got the G sharp, we got the B, and then we got the E. Now, keep your hand totally still. We're gonna move right back down. So we're gonna play the B one more time, going down with the third finger, down to G sharp with our second finger. And as we play our thumb on E, we are tucking over that third finger to B, and then the hand slides into the last two notes, second finger on G sharp, thumb on E. Now it is time for the left hand. So, open hand position. 
five, three, two, and one. All right, so pinky on E, third finger on G sharp, second finger on B, and thumb over E. Keep that position. Got it? Good. Now we're gonna play each note individually. So the bottom E, we're gonna play the G sharp, we're gonna play the B, now we're gonna play the E cross over as you're playing that E with your third finger to G sharp. The rest of the shape slides into position. So second finger over B and thumb is already over E. Just press it down. Now keep your hands still and we're gonna move right back down. So second finger goes to B. Third finger plays the G sharp. As it's playing that, we're gonna tuck the thumb underneath and we're gonna land on E and the hand is gonna open up into the next three notes. So our second finger is over B. Our third finger is over G sharp and our pinky is over E. All right, hands together arpeggios. Make sure that your elbow motion, your wrist motion, all that stuff is super fluid, super smooth. If you're like one, two, three, and then you have to <laughs> to get that thumb across, you're still working out the movement pattern. I promise you, it will get better. But do not add too much. If the movement pattern isn't great yet, then just putting hands together is just gonna make it worse. So make sure that you're getting more and more comfortable. If it's not perfect, that's okay. You can still try hands together, but you still wanna do the bulk of your practice hands separate until you feel more and more comfortable with the motion. But if you are comfortable with the motion now, we're gonna try it hands together. That is it for E major. I really hope it was helpful and you learned some good stuff about the scale. As always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Please feed the mighty algorithm monster. I want to get this content out to as many people as possible. If you appreciate what I'm doing, definitely check out the link to the shop below. I'm always adding new stuff in there. I think it's pretty dope. I hope you do too. And maybe you'll find something that's a great gift or something just for you. But either way, good luck with your practice. Keep at it. I promise it always gets easier. It always gets easier. You just got to keep practicing and stay powerful, y'all.